am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or some haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Good morning, guys, and welcome to another Whip Wednesday. Um, it is actually May 15th, the day after Mother's Day for me, but I am working most of this week, so I'm going to try to pre-record um, as many videos as I can today that way you guys have content to watch throughout the rest of the week um, So for Whip Wednesday um, This this last week um, Last Whip Wednesday video. I showed you guys a long-term project um, It's called the elf coat and it was designed by uh, moral fiber um, I'll leave all of the information for all the patterns that I talk about in the description box. Um, now that's been a very long-term project for me. Um, I started it sometime last year and then I put it down because sometimes we just need to take a break from our long-term projects. Now, I have most of the body, I've got the body of the jacket finished. I, I still have sleeves and the hood to finish. Um, but this last week, hi Kiwi! I don't know if y'all can hear the little bells on his, on his swing. Um, this last week I did finish the first sleeve. Hi baby! Just says good morning! Good morning. Would you say good morning to everybody? Say good morning, everybody. The shirt that I'm wearing, it's got a lot of holes in it along the shoulders because he really likes to chew on this particular shirt. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I did finish the first sleeve. Um... And this is what it's turning out to look like. I am using Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Warlock. Um, it is completely... I, I didn't control color control at all. Um, and you can see, like, I've already seamed up... I've already seamed this up. Um, and the way that it attaches to the body... Owie, baby, you're catching my skin. Um... The way that it attaches to the body of the sweater, um, it actually so you, you seam it up along here, and then part of the hood actually attaches along here. Now, this particular jacket is made um, with Tunis Tunisian knit stitch, um, which is a style of crochet that mimics the knitted look. Um, on the right side and then on the wrong side it makes these nice little ridges I really like the idea of these ridges they feel really nice to me um, and I really think this is probably going to be one of the first projects that I've ever made that I keep for myself um, now you can see this is let me see if I can get it. Right there is where you can see where I've made decreases. Um, I think those are the decreases. Yeah, those are the decreases right there. So, the, I mean, it doesn't mimic um, knit exactly. You know, um, I'm using a 6.5 millimeter Tunisian uh, crochet hook with a lightweight 3 yarn, um, which, ow, ow, watch it, you're catching my skin, I don't mind if you chew on this specific shirt, 
But you gotta watch my skin, baby. It hurts. You have a knife on your face. You can't do that. It's okay. I still love you. I still love you. Just, yes, I still love you. Just be more careful. He doesn't understand. Ow! He doesn't understand. He's got a razor blade on his face. You've got a razor blade on your face. You can't do that to people, baby. I love you. I still love you. I'm sorry. I'll quit yelling at you. I promise. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, uh, it's because you've already chewed this shirt so thin that now you're catching my skin. Yeah, mm, I love you too. I know. I know. You know, if you go on the other side, go on the other side, there's more to chew on. I don't know why he likes to chew on this particular shirt so much. Maybe it's because it's pink. I don't know. But that really hurt. Um, completely lost my train of thought. Anyways, it, it doesn't mimic knit exactly, obviously, because you can see the decreases. Um, and, and maybe, I mean, I've, I've only done one other Tunis, Tunisian knit stitch. See, the, there's the decreases. I've only done one other Tunisian knit stitch, um, project, and, um, it didn't have any decreases or anything. I think it was just a scarf. Um, and then along the seam... You can see along the seam, uh, this, these are where the increases are underneath. Now, with Tunisian, um, it is, uh, the guys, sorry, my dogs are arguing too. Apparently this is just not a good day for the animals around here. Um, with Tunisian, it, it is very natural for the edges to curl. This sleeve is finished, but I still have to add the um, edging. Once I get the edging on there, it won't be curled up like this anymore. And the the edging is actually done owl kiwi um, in regular crochet. So um, I did get that finished this week. Um, the other things I got finished this week, I started getting... Um, on my recommendations feed on YouTube, I started getting a lot of craft market prep videos, and I started looking through those, excuse me, and and seeing what some people do, to, you know, for craft market prep or whatever, and I saw a lot, a lot of cute patterns, um, and it kind of makes me want to do a craft market someday. I mean, I've never done one. Um, I've done my local farmer's market before, but uh, I imagine like an actual craft market would be much bigger and, and it would be geared more specifically towards handmade items. I, I, I really don't know. Like I said, I've never done one. Um, but one of them uh, showed this little bumblebee. Um, and I, from what I understand, this little bumblebee was, like, made famous, uh, through TikTok. It's, uh, I, I don't know, I, the, several of the videos I watched called it the TikTok crochet bumblebee. Um, and from what I can tell, the pattern is done by, or was designed by, um, Hooked, Hooked by Robin, um, is the written pattern that I found. Um... And then I also found a YouTube tutorial, video tutorial for this little guy. And I made two in yellow. I actually made three, um, but the first one I forgot to do this last stripe. So he was like this much shorter. And my 18 year old, Benjamin just turned 18, he was like, I want it. Just make sure he has wings. <laughs> so I made up the wings and he, he wanted it. He's got a little collection. Of, of amigurumi projects that I've messed up or you know the, the certain parts weren't sewn on right or whatever and he's got a little collection of all of my amigurumi mishaps sitting on a shelf in his bedroom and he likes them I don't know why but he does um 
So I did complete two of these guys um, this week, and then I was running low on the yellow yellow yarn that uh, I was working with, so I decided to make a little pink one. It doesn't, I mean, it's it's kind of like a baby pink color. It's turning, it's coming up much lighter than what it actually is, um, and I actually did. I was able to do all three of these guys in just a couple of hours um i'll probably put them in my shop they're cute little guys um if i ever get a new phone where i can take pictures i've got so much finished stuff that i need to add to my etsy shop and i haven't done it because my my well, this guy this guy right here broke my phone and i still haven't gotten a new one I, I I'm, I'm waiting for it to be ordered ow my skin baby my skin go back to the other side see it's so threadbare and y'all like there's oh, yeah, see he's like give it to me now <laughs> um another one of the little projects that I came across while watching some of these market prep videos was this little rubber, well, I don't think it's meant to be a rubber ducky, but it reminds me of a little rubber ducky. Um, and if you look, I use tiny little um, safety eyes. And the backings, you can see kind of push out past his eyes. And it gives him this, he kind of looks like an angry duck. He's got like an eyebrow ridge over his little eyes. I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but he's got kind of an eyebrow ridge that was unintentional. But, I mean, he turned out pretty cute. I made him in a uh, weight 2 yarn with a owl kiwi with a 2.5 millimeter hook. Um, I had gotten a request from my dad, Ken, to make him up some... Uh, rubber ducky um, looking crochet ducks for something called Jeep Jeep ducking and apparently what it is is different Jeep owners take a rubber ducky and they'll put it on somebody somebody's Jeep um, maybe with a little note you know like have a good day some, something like that um, I'm not entirely sure what it is but this was a while back that he asked me to see if I could find a Al Kiwi, um, a uh, kind of a rubber ducky shaped pattern. Now I'm going to make these, I'm going to try this pattern out in some thicker yarn and maybe a larger uh, hook. Like I said, I used a 2.5 millimeter and a weight 2 and the eyes, it's not even the eyes, it's the, um, the safety eye backing kind of gave him an, an odd eyebrow ridge. Now this is a no-sew pattern, um, but I think all in all, especially because I finished this guy up last night and it was dark, so I finished him up by flashlight in the dark because this guy was sleeping <laughs> um, and I was just having issues sleeping last night. Um, I was exhausted but could not get my brain to shut off. Um, but I think I'm going to try them out again, maybe when I get some more of this yarn. This is a DK weight yarn, um, and I use a 3.5 millimeter with these guys. And I think that if I switch to the DK weight with a 3.5 millimeter, they'll be a little bit, they'll probably be about the same size. Um, oh, there's a wasp. Because um, that, That's for size comparison. I know, I, I know there's a way that you can change colors in Amigurumi where it's seamless and I just have never bothered to learn that um I don't know why I guess it's I guess it's because I'm not I don't do Amigurumi a whole lot not not nearly as much as I used to um do you mind hi razor blade face will you just can you at least go to the other side oh, this bird anyways I'm going to let you guys go. That is, wait a minute, hold on. That's what I worked on this week. Um, I forgot to tell y'all. Hold on. If you're still with me already, because it's already a little bit of a long Whip Wednesday video. Um, so I did get 
um, an order for a, a made to order um, Lotus Mandala uh, uh, yeah Lotus Mandala uh, duster and I offer those in my shop as made to order and there's a whole bunch out a whole bunch of colors to choose from and then there's two different sizes to choose from um, and I haven't started that one but I will put um, a picture probably up here um, of a completed one um, but I did get that I got an order for one of those um, so I'll probably be working on that this week and I believe that pattern is also designed by Moral Fiber. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong on on who's designed which, I'll put you know something up here with an asterisk so that y'all will know. And of course, I'll link it properly below. But I'm I'm thinking that the elf coat owl um, and the mandala duster are both designed by Moral Fiber. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm going to be working on this week is, is uh, a Lotus Mandala duster. And then if I can fit some time in, I still have the pug um, that I'm working on, um, which we'll talk about that in another video um, because I have had some questions about Amigurumi lately, which might be where the desire to make up these little guys came from. I just, I was really feeling Amigurumi the day that I was working on these. And I don't remember if I if I mentioned I made all three of these bumblebees in just a couple of hours and this duck took me maybe 20 minutes and there is options for wings um, with this pattern as well anyways if I can find some time um, I'll be working on my amigurumi pug as well as working on the sleeve for the, the elf jacket um, so yeah, um, if you're still with me, thanks for watching all the way through. I really do appreciate it. It does help my channel out very much. And then there's this guy. By the time he's done, I won't have a shirt. Hey, you want to say bye to everybody? You want to say bye? You want to say bye? Say bye-bye. Say have a wonderful Wednesday. Hmm, maybe? Mwah. Mwah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. I love y'all. I will see you guys in my um, Things We're Making Thursday video. Um, so, yeah, y'all have a wonderful week. Bye.